In the world of combat sports, a select few have not only reached the summit, but have also transcended the sport itself. Mike Tyson, Daniel Cormier, and Francis Ngannou are names synonymous with greatness. Men who have defied the odds and conquered their fears to become legends. Mike Tyson, the youngest heavyweight champion in history, was a force of nature, a man who seemed unstoppable. His path to glory was paved with lightning-fast knockouts and a ferocity that left his opponents quaking. Tyson's reign was one of the most dominant the sport has ever seen. Nothing happened that day. I don't know what happened that day. But whatever happened that day, was there a new Mike Tyson that came the next day? Um, no, I did some cocaine for a week. I had to get high. I had to back then. I had to get high. You have to go. No, you understand, right? Thank you. Thank you, man. You want to take this stuff off? You okay? It's okay. Sir, Mike, I'm really sorry you're going through this. Okay. I'm sorry if we brought up. It's okay. I gotta grow up. It's tough. No. Goddamn man, stop crying. You're allowed to cry, Mike. Daniel Cormier, a double champion in the UFC, is a living testament to perseverance. From the wrestling mats of Oklahoma State to the world's biggest stages, Cormier's journey was one of heart, skill, and the indomitable will to succeed. Despite countless challenges, he rose to the top, proving time and time again why he is one of the greatest to ever step into the octagon. I called the highway patrol. They told me uh, that there was an accident on the highway and uh, that three people were injured, but there was only one fatality and it was her. Just some guy being irresponsible not paying attention. The baby's strapped in exactly as she's supposed to be. The guy bangs into the back of the car. She died at the scene. We buried Caden in Killeen, Texas. I just remember her casket being so, so small. So small. I just remember her in the casket and just not understanding why this stuff like that keeps happening. Francis Ngannou's story is the embodiment of the human spirit's relentless pursuit of a dream. From the unforgiving labor of the sand mines in Cameroon to becoming the UFC heavyweight champion, Ngannou's rise is nothing short of extraordinary. His raw power and unyielding determination have made him one of the most feared fighters in history. It is the, the most unimaginable the most unimaginable thing. Yeah. Not something that I never, I never imagined. And all of the sudden, nothing really matters. All of the sudden, you realize that you were complaining about a lot. Instead of being, feeling blessed, being grateful, you were complaining about things that didn't work. But in fact, everything was working well. They have each faced a pain far greater than anything they've encountered in the ring or the cage. It is a pain that transcends sport. A pain that strikes at the very heart of what it means to be human. These men are champions, not just because of the titles they've won, but because of the strength they've shown in the face of unimaginable loss. They have each lost a child, a wound that never heals, a pain that never fades. In the end, their legacies are not just defined by their victories in the ring or the cage, but by the courage they've shown in their darkest hours. They continue to fight, not just for themselves, but for the memory of those they loved and lost. And it is this strength, this silent, enduring strength, that truly makes them champions. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe for more MMA content. Until the next one.